I'm Paige from Pagey Draw. Welcome to my video tutorials. Today we are going to be learning how to draw hands in different positions. So when drawing hands, all you have to know is that the palm you draw as kind of a rectangle and then you branch off sticks as fingers like that. And um, to put it in different positions, you can just look at your own hand and put it in that certain position and just try to remember what it looks like and try to recreate that by um, drawing the different shapes to create that. And to give some examples of some poses that I've just quickly done up would be these ones. And I've just done stuff like this. And I've created these different positions for hands. So I understand that drawing hands are like very tricky to do, especially when you're starting out drawing. But when it comes to hands, all you have to know is that if you keep on drawing them over and over again, you'll get better at it. Again, practice makes perfect, so if you don't do good the first time, if you keep on drawing it, you'll keep getting better. So when you start drawing a hand, you draw a kind of rectangular shape, and then you branch off a bunch of fingers. And um, the thumb is the weirdest one to draw, in my opinion. Um, after that, you just sketch around it. So you're pretty much just adding skin to your fingers. And remember not to make your, um, when you're putting skin on the fingers, make sure you're not making them like hot dogs, so they're just like that. <laughs> you have to, you know, kind of curve it at the top, because you're finger kind of has a curve there. And then when you're drawing the thumb, the thumb has to be really big. And I sometimes use my hand as reference. looks somewhat like that. Not as gross as that felt. <laughs> Go! Then you just kind of Fix the sketch a bit, and then you finished drawing a hand. Um, so this is another hand that I'm going to be drawing, and um, this is one of my favorite hands to draw. Don't know why, but it just is. So it's like that. Not what I'm going to be doing. Um, so again, you draw the rectangular, rectangular shape um, as the palm, and then you branch off um, four fingers and a thumb. And again, and again, you don't want to make your fingers like um, hot dogs. You want them kind of curved a bit. And then you just, since this is the back of the hand, you want to draw the knuckles of it. And the wrist is kind of like that. And I've just finished drawing my hand. Done. Done. 
So now I'm going to start fine lining the hand. And I'm just using a 0.2 Copic Multiliner, which you can find on my online store at shop.pgdraw.com. And when you're fine lining hands, it's not like fine lining a face, so you don't really have to do any touch ups or make the lines thicker because your focus is not on the character's hand. So they're quick to fine line. So I finished fine lining that one. And I'm going to be fine lining this hand. And as you can see, like this is really quick to do. I made a mistake, so I'm just gonna blend it in. <laughs> no problem. And I just finished fine lining that hand. Now I'm going to wait 5-10 minutes so I can erase. Now that my fine liner has dried, I'm going to start erasing. And you don't have to worry too much about pencil marks this time, but you still want to make sure they're all gone because there will be skin color on this, and you don't really want it to smudge, but since they're not the focal point of your drawing most of the time, um, it doesn't really matter if you get some smudgies on there. I've just finished erasing so I can start coloring now. So now I'm going to start coloring the hands and I color them like I color any other skin color and um, I'm not going to do a like, really intense way of coloring um, just because again they're not the focal point so I don't have to put a million colors in it. So my base color is E0000 and these are feminine hands, so I'm going to color them with light um, skin colors and um, pinks. And you can, all the markers that I am using in this tutorial, you can buy on my online store at shop.pagedraw.com. So I've just finished the base color, so now I'm going to add a little bit of R20. And again, since these are hands, you don't have to go all out on the coloring. <laughs> you just want to make sure you get um, the middle of the palm here and just around the fingers just a bit. And you want to make sure you can blend in these colors really well. So I'm going to do this really quickly. I don't want it to be super pink. So I'm going to use my base again, which was E0000. And that'll just blend it in a lot. So then it's not just this clump of pink. And then I can add E000 as my darker color. And this just kind of tones down all the pink. And I've just finished coloring that hair. Now I'm going to start coloring the other hand, again with the same base color E0000.
And for hands, um, it's much easier to draw them um, when they're bigger. So since I've drawn them so big on this one piece of paper, it's really easy to draw and color them. But um, it's a good way to practice hands. So if you keep drawing hands one day and keep drawing them until you're happy with them, then they'll be awesome. Now I'm going to put the R20 on. I'm just a little bit of it. This side. And I find that coloring hands isn't that difficult. It's the drawing that is. Because really you're just adding a little bit of sh shading to it. It's not that elaborate or anything. And now I'm going to add my base again. A0000. <laughs> Just to blend it in, so it's not a blob of pink. And now I'm going to just add a little bit of E000. Again, um, it's just a little bit darker than my base color, and it kind of, I think it tones down the pink a little bit by adding um, more orangey-brown tones. And I kind of put too much ink on this, so I'm uh, going to use my blender just a bit to pick up some of that ink. And just to show you, I made it too, it kind of leaked a bit, so just white gel pen to the areas where it leaked, and then you don't really notice it. And that's how you color hands. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to draw, color, and fine line hands. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you want to get uh, the same fine liners as me and the markers that I've used in this video, please check out my online store, shop.pagedraw.com. We sell all the art supplies you need. So, I'm well aware that hands are extremely tricky to hard, especially... <sighs> tricky to hard.